Hey guys, what's up? It is Isaac you came here. Before we do start the video, be sure to leave like, comment, special likes on this video. It was because I've got the best news I've ever had. In fact, two to five best news, guys. I think that's the first time we've ever had that many good news in uh, ages. It was an awesome video, guys. I've got some excellent news. Now, as you can see, uh, well, you can't see it really, but um, we've gained 500 subscribers, guys. It, it's, the support's been amazing. Guys, keep subscribing. Thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys are amazing. I love you so much, guys. You guys mean the world to me. Uh, and basically, in this video, guys, we're going to be t showing you Void Factions for E2.1. Guys, yes, this is like 2.1 update. Um, Void Factions PE has been fully fixed, no lag, you, you can't join just yet, it's soft anyway, we're still in the works of building, but basically what I'm going to do for the subscribe special is two things, one, I'm going to be doing uh, a, a tour of forward factions, this is going to be a full tutorial when it releases, but this is just a, a, a overview of what it's going to look like, and secondly, I might do some rank giveaways, um, there's going to be a giveaway thing, I might do it in my next video or this video, I'm not too sure, but um, you'll see a video coming soon regarding giveaways and what ranks I'll be giving away. Uh, this is just because uh, we hit 500 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for all the support. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, be sure to subscribe, leave a like on that video that I'm going to post next, and uh, leave a comment saying that you've subbed and you've liked, and then I'll, I'll pick you, and then I'll obviously check your channel see if you subscribe, just to make sure to be on the safe side. So guys, we're going to jump right into the video. So, another good news, guys, is we've added so many things. Um, so, let's go right into the and I'll show you more into it. So, we're going to go jump right into it. As I said, Void Factions uh, is not being released yet, so I'm not going to give you the IP due to that. But the uh, ports change, so the IP will be the same. The ports change, but hopefully we'll get the default port, so it'll be the same IP and port very soon. But, yeah, I'm Rick. Okay. So, we're going to tell everyone that I'm recording. But there's a few things, guys, you must know. Firstly, alright, as you can see, we've upgraded the RAM to 40 slots. Now, I've got some huge announcements. Uh, oh, God, Rihanna. Oh, God. Just, you didn't see anything. Um, so, yeah, basically, guys, we've got the best news. We've added so much bug fixes, guys. It's just incredible. We This is probably one of the biggest updates we've ever had on Ford Factor 2.0 release. Um, so, as you can see, a server will restart in 77 minutes. What it is, guys, is we have now got a restart plugin. What this potentially does is um, when um, every 90 minutes or so, the server will restart. We've, we've fixed the kick message, so if you um, ever restart before, it would say disconnected or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but now it actually. Um, now it actually tells you uh, that you just have to restart. So we, uh, we've added our own custom plugin for this, um, so it's pretty lit. If you do such about restart, obviously you can't do it. But this is, uh, well, it is basically um, off a plugin called ATR. It is an automatic server restart. But basically what we did is we bumped the APIs, we made it all custom, we changed the server name. Sorry, not server name, we changed the plugin name. Um, so we've, we've basically revamped it completely to make it work compatible with uh, Alpha 10 and Alpha 9. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. It was all, all for FMP development teams. So we were the ones that actually updated and bumped the API of the plugins and all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, to see, I'm not going to risk doing session restart because last time I did actually. Okay, so if you do session restart, it says we'll start restart in 76 minutes. We've had, we've had our own prefix and everything. I think it's going to be quite a long video just to show you. Um, if we do slash SR, obviously no one can do this, only me, because obviously if you do, it will probably mess up the server. So I would recommend you should you shouldn't do this if you are a staff member. Um, so yeah. Also, this is the spawn. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the builds in a second. We just need to go through what the features we have into the server. Now we do slash shop. Uh, actually, how much money do I have? I might have to give myself money, guys. I might have to cheat some money just so I can uh, show you. Okay, no man, I've already got a lot of money. Uh, so we do slash shop. It will come up. Now we have a GUI, so you can actually, so it's raiding, farming, armor, tools, food, ores, blocks, and militias. Uh, so it's pretty good. awesome, guys, if you do, um, so we're, we're going to fix the flint still hopefully very soon. It's kind of bugs, but yeah. If you click the raiding or whatever, or whatever I just clicked, um, it will say a lot of stuff, like rela raiding related, or is it raiding? Uh, yeah, raiding related. Farming, so if you want to farm, you know, if you're, if you're in the mood for farming, 
you can do that. But that's not the only thing we have. So we've removed our cell because we've added a new feature. So if you want to do this, you can actually sell it. So for example, if you had this, if you bought it, you can sell it. Okay. And then when you, uh, you can sell it for how much amount, depending on your case. And the more amount you do, I think the more um, cost it is. And you click submit, it should um, sell it for you. So that's something we've added. The prefixes are basically a feature where you can, um, actually I'll show you what it is. So where you can, uh, PvP elixir is where you can PvP other players in a really good, in a potion effect. Raiding elixir is if you want to raid stuff, like if you want to raid a base, you can um, buy this. Uh, so we'll show you this first, so it's this most important in this video. So if we do amount one, because we only need one guys, you know, don't judge. Uh, so if we do this, boom, boom. If you drink this, and you're going to survival, okay, we don't keep it, so we go. So if we do this, it will say consumed PvP elixir. Um, so we haven't copied any servers, guys. We just found this on a website. Um, just don't even ask where I got it from, honestly. But yeah, um, as you see, it will come up with a title. Um, so yeah, if you do slash shop again, you can actually sell it. Let me just sell it real quick, so I don't need this anyway. Actually, no, I can't really sell it, can I? Oh god, I can't sell it. Uh, so same with raid. So if you want to sell, um, if you want, I mean, not raid, a raiding elixir. So if you want to do this, uh, let's, uh, so it costs 10k and it sells for 1,000. Depends on how much you want to, you know, do. And then when you do this, it will, um, let me check if the cell thing works, hold on. I haven't actually tested the cell thing yet, but I'm assuming it does work. So if you do this, and it sells. So you have sold uh, for, for 1,000, so that way it's not too, I don't know, overpowering, and it's not too duplicative, if you know what I mean. So we're going to buy this again, and we're going to eat it. And what it does, it gives you consumed raiding elixir, so stuff related, raiding related, um, and all that will be in your inventory. That way, guys, it's better for raiding, so you don't have to just mine grief bases, TNT of them and all that. You can just, you can just get FX, like, what's the point? Like, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we've, we've added that in, so if we, um, what else do we have? Okay, so, um, I'm trying to see what else we have. And we do slash hell, so we can actually see what plugins we have. Uh... God, okay, we got, we did have rolled we do have rolled it, guys, for, just for the build, we're not actually going to use them in, you know, but yeah, guys, this is a pretty awesome update, the update is going to be very hyped, uh, we do slash spawn, uh, and then, uh, I'll show you the things in a second, also, um, see, we've reset the economy, I think some people have to have money, oh, guys, I have 586k, apparently, oh, why can't, why don't I, okay, there we go, so, uh, a lot of people have quite a lot of money, apparently, I'm, uh, top subbing them up, because, you know, but, yeah, uh, it's pretty lit, guys, it's pretty awesome, uh, the, uh, the, I think the, um, reason why people so much money is because they sell things in the C mode, I'm trying to prevent this from not ha from happening, I think when the summer releases, I'm probably going to reset the, um, the, econo the economy again, so it's fair for everyone, not just the staff, but just the players as well, so they ha can have a little catch up as well, so it's not too, um, unfair in any basis of form. Um, so we're going to show you the, the room, not the room, the tours and all that. I'm trying to think what else we have. Um, I think that's just it for now. Um, so yeah, it's pretty awesome guys. And also we've got our own course, so we've added in a new command slash feed and slash heal. It's pretty awesome guys, I'm not going to lie. It's better than it was. And also guys, you can now, um, you can now diet, well, we're well, not diet, but you can now, um, like you, you have to take, uh, hunger damage, like, that for example before uh, you were no you didn't take hunger uh, like hunger now you do this is because we've added food into the shop now so we do slash shop and you go to food uh, and then you got cooked chicken steak and then you all that so you can buy it for it's not really that expensive guys I'm not gonna lie it's not really that expensive which is pretty good it's pretty awesome to be honest um so yeah also guys we've added two new modes now guys some of these people some of you guys have been requesting this. One of them we've added in a drop party PvP zone. How this works is when you're in drop party, it's basically drop party but with PvP. So you can actually PvP for other players, whether it's with armor, fist, tools, anything you want. You can basically PvP them to uh, base. What the, how this works is um, if you want, uh, in the old drop party, we still have that, that prior road, don't worry. Um, in the old drop party, if you um, if you were to. Wait, how many minutes have I got this? Okay. So if you were to. Um, if you were to PvP, like, PvP zone is basically where you can PvP other players, but you can take their stuff, so you can, you can steal it, as well as PvP them, so you can kill them for it, it's basically very awesome, I think it's a fun game mode, 
And also we've got non draw party uh, PvP. Uh, so basically, base draw party PvP is disabled there. So you've got either two modes you can choose from. One which, if you don't like PvP, you can go to the drop party normal one. And if you like PvP, if you if you like intense game modes or if you like intense fights, you can go to the drop party PvP where you can take out people's stuff, kill them for it, and all that. It's, it's pretty fun. Um, we've added that in. I'm gonna. Um, it's not fully added in yet, but I've added the plugin in, and it seems to be working perfectly as it should. Um, so I think that's everything that's, that I've been talking about. This video is really gonna be quite long because there's so much things I need to tell you. Also, guys, we fixed the lag, so we, we now. We're now on a new host called uh, Shockbikes. Big shout out to Shockbikes, by the way. They're pretty awesome people. They, they're awesome, guys. But uh, I wouldn't have done it without them. And I wouldn't have done it without Molded uh, Carl, because he was the one that donated 50, $50. And he's now an owner, so by the way, if you see him on the server, or if it's when it's released, just congratulate him. He's, he's an awesome person, guys. He, I wouldn't have even done it without him, to be honest. So he's, he's an awesome guy. Just big shout out to him, basically. Uh, if he has a channel, I might put it in the link in the description just for this video so I can give him a big shout out because he is an awesome person, right? You know, anyway, so we're gonna jump right into the thing. So, um, yes, yeah, so this is the spawn made by Alligator Chicken and the team. Well, it's it, it, well, technically, it's a spawn team, so um, we're gonna keep going to uh, do the water. But yeah, you got the parkour where you can parkour, it's quite on parkour, so beware. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, okay, what's going on? Okay, then. Um, but do do but do So, yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so you got the spawn, you got this bit. See, I think you can go to wild. I think this is a pretty awesome spawn. It's a ship spawn, if you guys didn't know. If you guys probably recognize it. It's a spawn we've never had on this server before. So, yeah, it's just pretty awesome to look at, to be honest. Um, so yeah, um, and other warps, uh, some of the warps that are, were from the old boy packs are still there, we did transfer some of them, so that's pretty why you're wondering what's going on. But you've got Warzone 2, that's war Warzone 2. This was made by, I can't remember, I'm not really sure who these were made by, I'm not sure if it says, but I think it was made by Shido, I'm not too sure, I might be wrong, I might not be, but just tell me in the comments whoever made it, because you really don't know, but the staff might know, but um, this is a PvP runner made by someone, and you will spawn here, or at least you should be. Oh my god, that's war, war zone 2. Yeah, so you should spawn here, and you can go to the PvP arena. It's massive, guys. It's absolute legend. It's literally, I think this is like the best arena we've ever had on the server. But guys, don't worry, there's more to come with build wise. It, it's just crazy, guys. Don't worry. So, you've got the PvP arena. It's a pretty awesome PvP arena, to be honest. Um, it, it's just lit, guys. You, you don't understand. But, um,. But yeah, it's just a pretty awesome uh, experience to do, uh, and then you can fight people. Obviously, we have an issue where if you if you go in lava, your your stuff will probably burn, and your your gear will probably break easily. We're we're trying to fix this. We're not sure, too sure about why this is occurring, but we'll hopefully try and fix it. And then for some reason, I'm right. So we're gonna do slash um, hmm, slash list of what? Okay, no, I'm not doing it. Good. Uh, so we do slash what? Guys, we don't even need to shop anymore, you can just do that shop wherever you are, wherever you're in, whether you're in a base, whether you're in a raiding base. Um, yeah, obviously guys, the server ain't lagging anymore, so we fixed the lag completely. It's pretty awesome. So, um, oh, hold on. Okay, so you've got uh, the nether. I'm not sure if the nether's done yet, I don't think it is. But um, we've got a lot of warps, some of these warps, or most of these warps that we added in were from the old boys faction, so we have to ignore it or just delete it later on. And uh, this is PP when it made by Billy Max and someone else, I forget who it was. But whoever it was, big shout out to them. I'm a wall. Okay, apparently they're a wall. That, that sounds really comfortable. What are you doing here and reading me? Jump down. Okay, that was, that was a big favour, honestly. But yeah, you've got... Um, our staff team have been working on this like all day. It's just amazing how people like care about the server that much. It's, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, what the heck is this? What the heck? Oh, that's just glass. That's weird. But yeah, guys, this is PP arena made by Billy Max. Um, big shout out to him. I'm, I, if I forget someone's name in the in the credits, I'm really sorry. It's not because I'm leaving you out. It's because I pretty forgot. So you've got quite a lot of good stuff. You've got the snow biome. You've got the grass. You've got the never rack or the never biome. It, it's just pretty awesome. And you've got the uh, timeout corner. Okay, I don't know why Billy even added that, but you know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty unique. So that's the PP we're gonna add it. Obviously, guys, by the time the server does release, we'll claim it easily because obviously it's possible. And we've got the info room, which is not actually done yet. Um, 
So yeah, it's, it's just the YouTube rules, the info rules and all that. So you guys better follow the rules. Go and follow the rules. And unfortunately, you know what's going to happen. I think you're probably going to get banned. And that's not really a good sign, to be honest. Um, so yeah, you've got... I'm not sure I've dropped... Uh, wait. And you've got the warp PT, PvP drop. PvP drop. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, this is pretty dark. I might add some light into it uh, later on. Basically, uh, this is the PvP arena. Um, not PvP arena, sorry. This is the drop party PvP. So, th I think this is where the drop party begins. So, the stuff drops from here. So, it's a pretty, pretty awesome experience. Um, so, yeah, you've got all of this. Uh, really awesome thing. Uh, this was made by Mobile and I think Luke as well, I believe. I'm not too sure. If I get it wrong, again, I'm sorry for getting it wrong. But yeah, um, I think that's everything to be honest at the moment. If I forget anything, I'm really, really sorry if I'm leaving you out. As I said, it's probably because I forgot. Uh, so obviously, we fixed the server restarts basically, and now restarts as it should. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys very soon. Remember that giveaway, earn pipes. Hello, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you do like uh, what you see or if you like my content. Also, if you want to um, keep no if you want to know when I upload, please click the notification button. Thank you guys for watching and peace. That I'm at an all time. <laughs>